bring it to you like it's law and order SVU Turn you to a vegetable, now you look good inside a soup Family come from Bishopville, but I grew up in that Bronx Zoo with all right, y'all, what up? It's Nate Almighty, a.k.a. the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. And I got some more industry news, current events. Let's talk about, damn, Jonathan Majors, man. News is reporting that Jonathan Majors and Manager Entertainment 360 part ways act of facing domestic violence allegations in New York City. This situation is just so crazy, and I wanted to speak on this because... As a 32-year-old man, as someone who came home 2010, uh, I went down that rabbit hole. We all go down, you know. Those of us who who your spirit is awakening, your third eye is opening, and you uh, you go down that rabbit hole of these quote-unquote conspiracies and celebrity news and gossip and and different celebrity deaths and things like that. Now, I'm not a conspiracy nut, but I can't lie when I say that I see a pattern of, for some reason, just like Eddie Griffin said in an interview, for some reason, there's no black man who touches Hollywood and leaves it without an asterisk over his name, without him being accused of doing some foul to children, uh, abusing women, um, or just doing some kind of foul situation. And now, if Jonathan Majors actually did this, then the fact that he got caught, whatever happens to him, happens to him. It'll be better than anybody who's not rich like him going through the same situation, you know? And as someone who's not rich and been through domestic situations, you know, domestic situations, most of the time, it really, it really makes the man look bad in public. But for the most part, nobody gets real serious uh, sentences or punishments for these type of situations unless it's serious, like it's a grape situation. Remove the G from that word. You don't know what I'm talking about. But... Going back to Eddie Griffin, I never, it's like maybe only two people. It used to be three. I used to see Morgan Freeman, Denzel Washington, Samuel L. Jackson, right? But recently I came across some things that they said about old uh, <laughs> Evan, I mean, Bruce Almighty, Bruce Almighty God. You know, Morgan Freeman did something foul towards women in the, in like the 70s or the 80s, you know. Y'all know Morgan Freeman old as hell, but he's still alive and kicking. He looked the same age for 30 years. But you see, he ain't been in no movies and nothing like that recently. He ain't really had no appearances. But I watched only Samuel Jackson and Denzel Washington. Go my entire life without hearing any scandals about them. And that's probably the only two entertainers that are at that level. At least acting wise. Who there isn't something funny being said about them. Who made it to have a long sustaining career. And then when you look at Jonathan Majors, it's like. I just found out about this man. He probably was working for a couple years, but I just found out about this man the beginning of 2023. I hear about this show called Lovecraft Country, which was, which was, um, the show was eliminated a while back. Then I hear about Creed and Ant-Man Quantumania, Quantumania, which I seen both movies. And especially for Ant-Man Quantumania, Jonathan Majors made that movie tolerable. There's nothing else that was tolerable about Ant-Man Quantumania. And to see this man, I just notice how whether it's sports or acting or rapping, but anytime there's a man of indigenous descent, 
Every time a situation occurs where he's on the up and up, something happens that brings his star down. I seen this man be loved. I seen this man be loved for three whole months of 2023 for everything he did. Women breaking their neck for him. Women talking about how sexy they thought the man is. You know, they putting him next to Michael B. Jordan. I fear for Michael B. Jordan. Hopefully, Michael B. Jordan could go another 30 years and the worst thing you say about him is the fact that maybe he prefers white women over black women. But I fear what's going to happen with him. And the thing is, is this... Did this thing just happen to happen to Jonathan Majors and he really did it? And he had a pattern and he'd been like this? Or could this be something more sinister? That's the question, man. It's like, what else does a guy have to do? What else does a, a, a melanated man have to do? You know what I mean? Uh, it looked like he was playing the game the right way. Kissing hands, shaking babies. Making his connections, you know. He even did the questionable magazine cover. He even did the questionable pictures with Michael B. Jordan. And then as soon as March comes, <laughs> now, now, the man, now the man is losing it all over something that happened to him between him and his girl, which his girl... His girl is giving evidence that she's saying that it ain't about nothing. But he had already got arrested for it. This man was supposed to be... He was supposed to at least be tied to Marvel Studios and be in movies for at least the next five to seven years. They're going to get rid of him for that. His management agency dropped him. He losing out on all this money. For all this that he going through, I hope he really did it. Because if he did it, man, wow. Wow. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. And I actually like Jonathan Majors, man. I felt like he was one of the greater actors out there. You know, um, he loses himself in all of his roles. You know, he's a different person in all of his roles. I guess we're going to have to see how this goes. But what are your thoughts?